Hi, welcome back to my Alan Bradley PLC test bench. Today we're going to be doing a little more work on Panel View Plus. Now, the version 5 and version 6 have some differences depending upon what screen you have them hooked to. Now, if you use a Series C screen, the newer screens, I believe it's about 2015, 2016, and you have to use the RP8 series of memory modules. That is this one here that has these big fins on the back. And that's a, a uh, version 6. The version, this one here is the older version, which is in this particular case the version 5.1 for firmware. And all of these are flat. This is a Series G where they went to the uh, heavier cast rather than the, uh, the tin cover is all it is. Um, having this one on a Series C screen, as you will see, will give you a fault on the touch screen. You'll all of a sudden get the uh, little square with a finger in it and a line through it indicating that your touch screen is bad. But it's not. You're using the wrong module on the newer Panel View Plus screen. You need to use the RP, RP8 screen module for that screen. So I'm going to swing things around here and set up and we'll step through it. I've got a Panel View 1500 that I got from the customer, which is a Series C, and a Panel 1000 out of stock, which is a Series B. We can swap things around. Uh, there's only four components, but uh, it takes a couple of minutes to show you everything that's going on. Be right back. Okay, we're back. Now we've got a total of four pieces to work with here, so that we can I can show you everything that goes on depending on which combination you use. This is our older memory module with the CF card in it. It's a Series G RP1A with a date code of 2011. The screen is in a 15 inch or panel view 50 plus 1500 series C with the date code of 2016. Now that's all really standard. On this panel view 1000, which we have here for comparison, this is a RP8. A for AC, Series A, with a date code of 2015, which is really close to the um, screen itself. This Panel View Plus 1000 screen is a Series B, as in Bob, and a date code of 2010. So, what we'll do first, move this out of the way, turn this around, And being as it's AC, we have a small extension cord plugged into it. We plug her in. Now, as most of you are aware, it sometimes takes a little bit for these things to come up. Now, this is the older module on the newer screen. And it comes up fairly quick. Now, if I turn off this light here, let me make it easier. I'll zoom in just a bit. Okay, there's no uh, program loaded. So there we are. Now at this point, it looks really good. Um, all our terminal, or it says load application, we can go in there, cancel, terminal settings. Everything seems to be working fine. Close. And that's the only two spots we can get in besides reset. So we just go back here. And we'll look at system information just because. And it's a firmware 5.1. Now, 
this is what I was waiting for to show up is this little guy here after less than a minute it's come up it says that our touch screen is is bad we don't have a touch screen that's what that symbol means now we know it was good because we were just using it so now what we have to do we can't get out of that can't get into anywhere else, it's dead. So let's power this poor guy down and we'll take our panel view 1000 and just power him up. Now this panel view 1000 has the RP8 on it as you can see. So, it's ready to power up. Put it on this side with a little bit of plastic between that and the other piece so we don't scratch anything. Now this is going to boot up. And on the version 6, which is what the RP8 is, it's a really slow, long and torturous boot-up procedure. Um, they, Alan Bradley in the, tells you that that's because it's doing so much more for you. Is it? i got to question these sort of things myself. <laughs> And again, there's no nothing in there. Go to terminal settings, system information. And it's a factory talk view ME station version two, ME st station eight, links five, and all of the good stuff. Okay, so we'll close that, go to terminal information, it says battery's good, power on, lots of RAM, close, close, um, close. See, it's working just this RP8 on the older PanelView Plus 1000 screen works just fine. Now, what I'm going to do is stop the camera for a minute. I'm going to swap the uh, RP8 onto the 1500 and the RP1 onto the 1000. And we'll go through the same steps again and uh, show you the difference that happens there. So, back in a minute. Okay, and we're back. So, I've taken and swapped the memory modules around. On the back of the PanelView Plus 1000, we now have the RP1A, which you'd seen earlier. Plug it in. And it's starting to boot right away. Plug that light there so you can see. Okay, and because this is the older module and we've changed screens, we have to change, we have to do the recalibration. Takes a few seconds.
Okay, so we're back into this screen again. And if we go down to our system information, right, you can see that's where we were before. Close the boat. And so there's our firmware version 5 now on the 1000. And now, and we'll give it another few seconds, but there'll be no problem with it because this has run before. Our touch screen worked too good. Close, close, close. Uh, terminal settings, close. So, no problems with the uh, screen whatsoever. So now we'll power it down. Unplug it, move it out of the way. Bring our 1500 over. Okay, so here is our 1500. Okay, for some reason it's a little crooked in the screen, but we don't have time for that, so power it up. So now we're going to go through this long boot up procedure again. And you can bypass this, I believe, in in the settings to get it. But when you're doing testing like I am on the bench here, you want to see all of the screens happen and things take their time and make sure there's no little glitches here and there. Another few seconds. And it comes up in the ME boot screen. Now in this one you'll notice which is one of the enhancements they made. Just because we changed screen size does not mean we don't have to recalibrate it. It automatically does it. Okay. Terminal settings. Information. About. Close. Terminal information. Right. So we're back. Everything's good. And this is where you, again, I pointed out before, this is where you check your battery voltage to make sure that the CR2032 is in good shape. So before when we had the RP1A on this Series C screen, after about this amount of time, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, we got the symbol in the center showing that we didn't have a, a good touch screen. Now, We'll just, uh, as I ramble on here for just a little bit, but not too long, um, you'll see that this touchscreen has no problems whatsoever. I can move it around, you know, go into any of the uh, screens that are available at this point. Diagnostic setup. Alarms, cancel, display, intensity, in this case it's set to 100, temperature, twenty-eight c So as you can see, there's nothing, uh, close, close. <laughs> Excuse me. There's nothing wrong with the touch screen on this 1500. So there's an incompatibility between the Series C screens and the Series A or B um, earlier RP1s. And you need to use the RP8 series on the new Series C screens. Um, just be aware of that when you're grabbing things off the shelf when you're broke down that you need to uh, make sure you have the correct uh, combination. So there we go. 
And there's another one uh, be posted up shortly. Hopefully I can uh, take and uh, zoom through a few things to make it quicker. Subscribe anytime. Looks like I've got 29 subscribers at this point. Not a huge channel, but hey, you guys know what you're looking for. Thanks a lot. Come back often. Bye. Okay, here we are. It's about uh, five or ten minutes later, and just wanted to add this to the video. Um, it's been sitting here exactly like this since you saw it last time, um, and everything still works just the way it should be. Whereas with the uh, RP1, which is the older version, version 5, on this Siri C screen, after one minute at it, it came up with a bad screen symbol, which it wasn't. So there we go. Uh, everything's proven out and done. Thanks a lot. Come back anytime. Thank you.